Hello folks, welcome to Loop Learnings. This is the next video, video number 28 in this series and we are making school management system. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning back, welcome back. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. To support this channel, you can also join by clicking on the join button if you are using the computer YouTube. If you're using YouTube on a mobile phone, you can check the link to join the channel in the description below. Thank you for your support. There's a whole lot of videos uh, for Microsoft Access and I'm sure you will take something out of these videos. All right, let's get back to our application. So what I will, what I will demonstrate today? Well, today I'm going to demonstrate how to make two buttons one to export this information or data in Microsoft Excel and the other button is to take a printout if we have to take a printout right so these two buttons I'm going to demonstrate and on top of that uh, you know there has to be some mechanism to open this report because technically this view will not be given to the user so we will create something on the dashboard uh, perhaps a drop down menu which a user can use to select the report which user want to open and then click on generate button and the report should open all right so these are the things i'm going to demonstrate if you think that you know you want to uh, learn about that stick around and maybe you will learn a thing or two all right let's go ahead first let's put two buttons on the report and we'll to do that we'll go to report design We'll take the control button and we'll bring it here. All right. Now we'll change the name first. So we'll say CBO print or not CBO button print because this is the button. And we'll go to the format and we'll change the style of the button, maybe like that. And we'll change the font of the button and the color font color should be black so it's a print okay but uh, let me resize it just a little bit okay if i'll go to the uh, report view we have a nice button here but you know we can have a little icon here to make it more aesthetically pleasing uh, to the eyes so let's uh, have icon there so we select the button, we go to the property sheet of the button, we go to the format, and in here there's a property called picture. So we take the picture and we press P, P for printer, on our keyboard, and we should have a little printer icon here, all right? We'll click on that, and now it has changed the text with icon only. I want both, so I'll come on the top here, a picture caption with a, a caption arrangement so at the moment no picture caption but i will want to have that so we'll make it as general however we'll make a space in between the icon and the button all right let's go ahead and see how it looks like yeah a little better now let's have another button which will be used to transfer this information in microsoft excel all right so let's do that and design and we uh, copy the same button and we paste it and we will say rather than we'll print we'll say export okay now we'll change the name of the button so we'll say btn export all right and the uh, icon instead of printer we'll change it to excel icon so i'll press m m for microsoft so we'll have uh, uh, the icons for Microsoft applications. That's the good thing, by the way. So I'll click OK. And I'll align it here. I'll minimize it. All right. Now let's go ahead and see the report view. And we have simply got two buttons, print, export. All right. Now what do we do, what do, we do next? Well, next we have to do some VBA coding. Not much, a little line of code. So first let's go ahead and do the VBA coding behind print button. So we go to the event, uh, property sheet event, 
and then on click event dot 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 code builder and here we are and we simply say do cmd dot ac do cmd dot run command ac cmd print okay and all right that's it that's the line of code now what i would like to do is i would like to put this little error handling here on error resume next i'll tell you later on why <laughs> and here as well on error resume next all right there are other ways to handle this as well but uh, you know for now we'll stick to this simplest way of handling it so we'll click on print and as a, you can see that the printer dialog appears and you will if you your computer is configured to the printer then definitely that printer will appear here or else you can uh, save this file to the pdf file as well on your local machine all right i'm not going to do that so i'll just click cancel now that will go away now i'll tell you why that error handling i put so if I don't, if I don't, uh, let me go back to the code so I can tell you. If I don't put this on a resume rex, you know what will happen? When you will cancel it, when the user cancel that, hey, I don't want print out or I don't want to convert to PDF. Then the moment user cancels it, the user will get some sort of error dialog box. And user may think, oh, he or she has done something, a mistake. But so to avoid that, to keep the user experience simplistic, that's why I put on a resume next. Right, next one is the export. So that too is one line of code. So we'll go to design view, click on export, uh, event, on click event, dot dot dot, code builder. And we come back here and we'll say on air. So simply let me, you know, let me copy this rather than I type again. All right, so all right, so we'll do do cmd dot transfer. So now this time we'll go, we'll use transfer spreadsheet. All right, and now it is asking, all right, do you want to export, import, or EC link, or you want to create a link? Well, we want to export it, okay, and then comma, and then it is asking what type. So if you have latest Microsoft uh, version you'll get these options spreadsheet type excel i'm going to use excel uh, 12 xml right so i'll use that comma uh, table name what table we want to export so well this information is actually coming from the table called students t right so we want to use that table students students t that's the table name and what do we want to name the file which will be exported which is file name here so we will say well the name should be uh, students report that should be the name and double quote and that's it all right you can handle this in multiple ways for example you can give a specific pathway if you want to store the export information on the specific pathway but I'm going with my default, which is my documents. So I'll compile it just to see if, you know, there's an error or something. I'll go to report view and I'll click on export and nothing happens, right? It seems that nothing happens. Well, there's something happened and uh, we will uh, see that. So I'll go to the folder. This is the folder where the information should be stored. The data should be exported. So right here, students report, I double click on that and the file opens. All right, there you go. So all of that detail, uh, you got it on the Microsoft Excel. And because a lot of people like to do that, I'm sure they will appreciate this uh, functionality. So let's close that and, you know, let me delete it. You know why? Because I'm going to show you something else. Okay, now I'll go back to Microsoft Access and uh, remember when i clicked and nothing happened so user may know that this button is not working in fact it is working so that means we have to get give some sort of prompt to user that hey it is done so we'll come to the message box so i'll say to simply not be message box the data has been exported 
successfully yeah okay and then comma comma we be information comma information all right and that's it now user should get a prompt saying hey it is done so let's go ahead and let's let's click on export and there you go data has been exported successfully okay now if i'll go to the my folder you can see the information in here right that's great okay so that is done now next step is we want to configure the mechanism through which these reports can be opened by the user of course this view will not be given to the user so what user will have is the main dashboard so from here user can actually open the report so how do we do that well we'll have a combo box here which will have the name of all the reports and then you know we can put uh, a line of code behind this button so let's go ahead and do that design view and let's uh, increase the height because we want to have a combo box let's select this and increase the height of this as well and let's bring a combo box so i go here this is the combo box control and i paste it here cancel it and i bring the uh, caption label here okay so i change the caption uh, to select report select report yep that's it home tab and white color let's uh, reduce the size of the font in the label and let's uh, increase the width okay now i think is it aligned what's the let's see so on the left 2.4167 here also on the left there we go now it is aligned okay right now in here first of all we change the name so we'll say cbo reports okay that's done and we'll go to data tab we'll choose value list and row source we'll choose click here on dot 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 and we'll have this uh, uh, a little uh, dialog box and in here we can uh, type the name of the report so we'll say it is students uh, report okay and I'll click OK and now we'll uh, click on general reports so instead of general reports I'll say generate reports right generate report all right now I'll go to the event tab dot 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 code builder and in here we'll uh, put some code here to open that report so first of all we'll say if is now uh, me dot cbo reports equals true then
that's what I wanted to demonstrate in this video. I hope that you have learned something. If you have, by the way, there are many ways to you know handle the report. You can make a separate form uh, for a specific reporting suite uh, for bigger applications. So you can do that as well. Anyway. Uh, I hope that you have learned. If you have, please let, some, let me know in the comments below. Uh, click on uh, the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.